title and we you know once i realized it was like an amalgam of different events me yeah. reclaiming ownership mm -hmm. you know which i hadn't had for so long like over 10 years Fresh. was a big vital step and then also having my own distribution deal where i have my own like and i learned the intricacies of what it really means like um getting an isrc code and yeah, yeah, yeah. um and and then Fire. registering that with the PRO company, so I could own my, so I could get mechanical royalties. And then I realized, why isn't anyone doing this within the context of battle rap? And I remember the the things that you've been saying, the things that Hollow been saying, the things that you feel me, Daylight been saying. And then I was like, shit. Now I actually, I think that everyone had the idea, but they didn't know how to implement it. And since I'm in the mix, what happened was this. I'm just going to be fully transparent. This is the first time I'm speaking on this. I had a song. Um, you know, I'm looking at my royalty checks every month and I'm like, damn, this shit is like, you know, I'm, I, I might could get a hundred thousand streams in a month, but then the, like the, the number, the, the numbers I'm getting paid don't really reflect that out. So right, like, right. Oh, this is kind of trash. And then, yeah, I've had songs that have been placed in movies and I've gotten, you know, made six figures over the course of a few years off of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not just because you get the bag in the beginning, but then yeah, then I, you get a little bitty tits and bits and shit, and you just right the first time it's fucking aired in Turkey, the first time it's aired in fucking Botswana, right. the first time those are whole new markets, and you get bags from that every time. But what really set it off for me was this: like in the context of battle rap, I had made a, I had a record right, and in the beginning of it was a sample, and the sample I took was from a random thing that was a. Uh, just like some random shit on the internet, right? And no one had claimed ownership of it because I sampled it and put it out through my distribution, which is under Sony. That clip from the sample in my song wound up going viral on TikTok and getting several million fucking clips uh, plays on TikTok. But because I registered it, I was the owner of that content. So I started making thousands of dollars off of that fucking sample. I'm like, oh shit. What if, okay, let's say there's, um, let's say one of fucking Quest McCody's or one of T-Rex's or one of Appa's or one of Eunice's rounds, like just a five second clip from one of them goes viral on something like TikTok and, and, yeah. and used in a bunch of different contexts. And then if he has ownership of that, you're getting those fucking royalties. Yeah, that's so why like, it's important for people to um look into like sound exchange. Um, like you register for sound exchange and it'll search, um, It'll search for you and then you can upload shit too for them to search for. Like, yeah, let me find out if this is online. So like people that are listening, sound exchange and like the biggest thing for me, and this is when it, it stood out and this is no shun to anyone because I don't believe at all times that everybody knew what was going on. And then I believe there was a point in time when people figured out what could be going on and they put things in contracts to kind of kind of make sure that they can benefit that. Yeah, so so um I noticed that um and it's happened with with both of the major um leagues prior to you you know the, the you know the the you guys are a major league as well but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah yeah we brand um, new though. Yeah so um I start seeing battle cards on streaming platforms where they sell music and I make money with music like and i'm like yo like this is easy like before me and excel battled i hit excel up and i'm like yo man here go like get, send me your publishing info let's like this battle let's title it what it is man and and put ourselves in a space to get these residuals in case yo man you put it in in the wild thing is oftentimes the money isn't even being claimed that's the thing. And, and like, I think it's really important. I know that a lot of y'all in here, I hope that y'all like, like, I know when I was y'all's age, I didn't give a fuck. I just wanted to rap. So all this shit sounded like Charlie Brown's parents talking. And it was just like, cause I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Right. Yeah. You feel me? But, but I really hope like, I wish because if, if I'm sure quest will say the same thing, if we had claimed, all the royalties from all the fucking bars we spit over the years, we'd be both in much better financial positions. You know what I mean? So and I then you want to think about. I the hope y'all are smarter than us and can learn from our mistakes and actually check game one time and implement this shit for yourselves. I mean, when you battle on GTX, we gonna make it so you have to do that. But at the end of the day, I can't register 
you have to sign into your own ASCAP yep. or BMI and register the shit yourself. I can't do it. Physically. And you know something else, man, that um, like for people to understand, like I didn't had these conversations. Like let's say it's known throughout like if you're a league owner it's known on that scale that quest asks that question and talk about this shit all the time and it don't always and it hasn't always put me in the in the fairest of light with motherfuckers because sometimes it seems like yo i'm stirring up shit or stirring the pot but it was something that was specific like yo man imagine like we got um a classic battle i'll, I'll say chilla jones and jc or um Cortez and Hollowhand, right? Um, 20 years from now, somebody decides they want to show people where battle rap came from and they use it in a movie, showing it in the background like a kid just watching battle rap. Because that's something that can happen. It's something that's, that's, that's becoming more and more popular, right? So, Or let's say you know, the next season of Euphoria, fucking right. who's watching a Queen of the Ring battle. You feel me? Like, right. So with that, man, yo, man, my kids should be able to get reap the benefits of that some kind of way. Like forever, man, until I so, in it and it's not and it was never costing anybody anything. It was just not understanding maybe um, how it works or, or exactly. But what happened as time went on? Once this this was the gripe I, I held or or the not even the gripe, um, because you get what you negotiate and what you talk about when you read your contract. And most people are just trying to sign it as time went on as streaming became more popular. Things were put into contracts that gave the ownership to the company. And. Um, and just the idea that this money that don't cost you no money because a lot of times like when i was talking to caps um caps really didn't understand what i was talking about when we was talking on angry fan because he just didn't understand the the nature of the business to that extent so i don't blame him but a lot of niggas was tripping like i'm sorry a lot of people just in general just watching the um the live they were tripping on some yo man they paying them all this money they paying them they paying them well yo think about the amount of money that is that's being paid and in the amount of people in like it ain't back in the day where you gotta cover the fucking the 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 door gotta cover the the like there there's different sponsorships there's well, budgets. It, it, it's like it, this at, at the end of the day the it, it comes from a place of simply like greed and mixed with ignorance because at the end of the day this isn't going to affect your bottom line whatsoever if you're a league there's no reason why and, and like that's why i don't have a problem putting this out this isn't something that i'm looking to have exclusive for gtx every league should be operating op offering this and operating on this frequency and i'm hoping this is forcing the hand of every league so this has become normalized within the culture you know what i mean and i know that like there's a lot of, we're stirring up a lot of shit that's going to make people look at us some type of way. But at the end of the day, like there's so many different ways for everybody to eat off of it. And it's at the end, like, and it's creating like this, the visibility on the artist side, all it's going to do is like open up more possibilities for the leagues to eat as well. Like for example, with our first event, like we're, we're offering ownership, partial ownership um, in multiple capacities. But like with when we're negotiating, like if you have a platform, like Geechee has the riot. So we told Geechee, like, look, you know what I mean? We could give you this amount of money or we could offer you slightly less amount. Plus you can release the footage on the riot. So you have full control over the YouTube release and monetization of this footage, which is going to serve you longer well in the long run and he got to do that you feel me like and there's so many different opportunities for people yeah. to do that shit. and as long as we keep our branding consistent and it says gtx rap battle in the title and it's branded the way we want it's edited the way we want but it comes out on that platform we both win yeah like a lot of people don't know man 